That's an electric shaver. All right, so we thought we'd do a little product review. This is a $70 welder off Amazon. $100 if you buy the TIG attachment. And the link is in the description, obviously, if you guys want to check it out for yourself. We've got Vince here, who has 40,000 hours of helmet time, to tell us whether this is actually worth it or save your money and, and buy something a little more expensive. But this is the Tulium 1355 LP. 22110 welder and yeah. tape machine. It'd be nice to see if it's it's got good stability and, and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll cut the weld in half and see how good the penetration is. Yeah. And, yeah, and then we'll send that to your bosses. And <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we chose to review this welder because it is the cheapest one on Amazon. And it's got 1,600 reviews on it and a 4.6 out of 5 rating. So either that's a lot of bots or it is a good little welder. So Vince, what is your career in welding? I'm a high pressure pipe welder. It's probably my 28th year welding around there, almost 30. I'm learning how to weld on the hardest stuff to weld. Welding garbage bins it is dirty, rusty, thin, thick, wet. Painted. I was a dynamic steel doing pressure vessels, holding tanks. Got all my uh, TSSA tickets, CWB, and put myself through school. Yeah, a few years aluminum TIG welding, which is uh, which is pretty gravy. And now I'm doing uh, pretty high quality stainless, high pressure pipe, food grade, liquid oil and gas. I get to TIG weld almost every day, so everything we do is open route, TIGged in, and then filled with wire. So there you get all my crap that I get you to weld. Yeah, and scrappy. Yeah, yep. it's all oxidized and old, <laughs> rusty and crappy. Awesome. Yeah, well, it keeps me fresh. Vince will tell us, without a doubt, <laughs> is it a welder to like throw in your off-roading rig or your race car just to patch something up? Yeah. Or do you buy a Civic and start a welding company? <laughs> the plug is 220. Yeah. And then they give you a neat little adapter. Yeah, I got one of those for my Miller. <laughs> How much does it weigh? Holy, that's like. <laughs> oh, looks pretty standard. Ceramic, ceramic. I mean, some people go with a little bit heavier stuff if they're working with bigger heats, but yeah. this is all pretty well generic. Okay. Ooh, denim. <laughs> that's what? They just cut denim. Up some oh, yeah, like your leftover <laughs> Levi's. That's probably exactly what that is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to jump straight to the 220. You still need gas, then, right? Yeah. Well, it seems relatively durable. It just seems a little light, but you're probably not going to be pumping out much heat on this, so too bad. Lines are nice and soft. I can't even see how you can make a machine that cheap. No. <laughs> Again, we only paid 100 bucks for it, so yeah. if it's not worth anything. Oh, I know. It might take torches $1,200, just the torch. Yeah. And. I can't help that you pay way too much for your stuff. I know. <laughs> but I've had it now 15 years. That's true. And no breakdowns or nothing like that. No regulator with it though, right? Nope. Nope. It's a little cheap, that. <laughs> that one's cheap, yeah. But. <laughs> but. But. But, yeah. I'm gonna take the cover off and see what's going on while you're welding. The ink is a little bit smudged. I'm a little disappointed on really? the, that's not dirt. That's no. not you? That's not me. <laughs> Look! Oh. Oh, it's got some glue. Sticker on it, quality control. That's about that size. Well, the glue sucks. Not, not much in the way of uh, tamper control. That is a lot of solder on that one. <laughs> they were not shy on the solder. The ground's gonna get hot. <laughs> just cause she's like <laughs> light gauge. With it only having just the one dial for your settings and stuff like that, it's just heat, that's it. So, I mean, if you can fix your lawn chairs and your bicycles and stuff like that for that price, that's quite remarkable. One thirty-one, so I'm guessing that's your amps. So we'll go down to the amp range is usually like you know anywhere from forty to ninety, so it's kind of it's an open window a little bit. And the rules number one is clean your material before you weld. It's half the battle is prep all the time. Nice. What do you want? I'm gonna go with the sixteenth first. Yeah. Just a one sixteenth rod. 
65 amp. See how that burns if you have to crank her up? She's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Three left flow. It sounds good. Yeah, it's not. Didn't hear the fan kick on and that thing change its sound. Oh, all right. yeah. I'm like, I found three more left. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> my sense is left that way. Flux really sticks, that's for sure. Uh, 45. It was a little bit hot. 116. Yeah. Go up to 70 amp. You can get up like, you know, one stage up on a rod. You can get a little bit more penetration. You can be able to weld a little bit of heavier stuff. So let's see how this one goes. 332 rod. Slightly impressed. Yeah? I'm running through those rods just fine. Nice. That's amazing. For $100. Yeah, and you don't hear it like drawing out. Like as soon as you are, sometimes these little machines, they kind of like you know, they, they drone out like they're, you know, like yeah. drawing and stuff. And I haven't even heard it freaking change its sound. No. Go one eight. It's got good dig in it. So 68. Yeah. 7018, 332. got zero spatter. Yeah. That's like zero. That's well and perfect. <laughs> wow. Cutting that. You can cut it and see how deep it went. Hard to see, yeah. Yeah, you usually have like a there's like a blue dye. Yeah. That brings it up, but oh I see. But looks like it, it's in there. Well the fact that it's all blue on the back side. Like mm -hmm. you can see it glowing when yeah. you when you go. I'm impressed. 332, 7018. But it's an old button. Yeah, the shelf for a bit. Burning through that tighter rod, the hottest the, the coil got was uh, 140, 150 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not like it's like, oh, it's gonna catch fire. Yeah, yeah from 90 at I like I not yeah, doing anything. The whole thing as a whole is not warm and that's after one whole sticks. I don't yeah. know what the duty cycle is, but that's pretty good because um you got on 220 now? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably got you know probably like fifty or sixty percent duty cycle. Yeah. I think it on one ten would probably only have twenty percent. Right. It might not get through a full rod. Oh okay. Yeah. See so check out the weld. I'll probably just touch it and it'll fall off. Oh that it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And you can see it, it it's got good dig, like it, it bites in this. So stick welding, I would say that's uh that's a go. Nice. Yeah. That'll, that'll get you out of a jam anytime that thing. Right there. With 220. Let's with the 220. Let's try it with uh 110. If you have a 220 generator, more likely it comes with a weld. Yeah. One time with no extension cord, but the breaker panel is on the other end of the shop. Yeah. So how hot is it with the 110 now? Uh -huh. Welder fail. Left my helmet on grind like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
120. It was colder than before, but you didn't do the whole rod. Yeah. yeah. You did half the rod, so it's not, again, not like it's going to catch fire. Yeah. Now, what's your feelings on that? A little stable. I like the 200 a little bit better. Yeah, well, that's with any welder. Yeah. yeah. Just like but that it still power. has penetration. Yeah. You can tell not near as much. Very nice. Very good. So the ground's not smoking and melted, so, you know. So she passes as a stick welder. Highly recommend 220, but it will get away with 110. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try tigging. So what you need for tigging is a bottle of straight argon. You can rent a bottle like this, but that rental costs as much as the welder. Yeah, I bought a small bottle like that too for like my welder and you only get like five hours out of them anyways. It's not, yeah. Yeah. it's not the way to, like it is the way to go for transportation purposes and yeah. stuff like that. But I mean, if you're doing something, it'll, it'll leave you without gas a lot. <laughs> right. specifications on your stick out for your tongues and your cup size and stuff as well so it's relatively standard with what it comes with it's not centered perfect in there either so it's you know just probably just because it's a little cheap I'm assuming it's probably scratch dirt because it doesn't have high frequency it's gonna be a little bit funny taking with it because you don't have any heat control like you don't have a pedal? Yes. And you're set with the setting that you got it on, so. So that's just on off? Yeah, you'll just scratch start, uh, it'll be on. So you won't have any control of the heat and stuff. So yes. on something like this, I would be pretty low, probably down to like 30. Okay. And uh, so that'll probably be, uh, for a TIG weller, that's tricky, I would think. Like Especially if you're a newbie. Yeah, because it's just gonna be, yeah, it's gonna do its own thing. You have no control of what it's doing. Okay. And the thing they can't back off the heat. And yeah. Let me just change over the polarity. Now we're good. Oh, it's just running all the time. Yeah. So it won't have a shut off. Oh. No slow or nothing. So you always gotta shut your valve off here. Oh, I thought that was the trigger. I'm like, how does that work? So yeah, that's just a gas. gas. <laughs> You're going to waste a lot of gas. Oh, yeah. Remember to shut that off <laughs> and turn it on. It's pretty good. <laughs> Stable arc. Yeah. It'll weld your exhaust, but not having any control of your heat, like with the pedal, is uh, you're at the mercy of the heat that you set. So if you run into a gap or anything like that, you'll end up opening it up and stuff. But I mean, fit up is really good. But don't take. Yeah, I can try to use it with some filler, see how it melts that up. And... Six here? Yeah, 75, 76. Art stable, not jumping around all crazy. Scratch start doesn't shut off on its own, so if you touch anything, it's going to be arcing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit of a heavy duty rod for this. I'm pretty impressed for 75 bones, like for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd be yeah. more for my gloves. Not hot, it's not smoking. You can get a heavy rod in there. Well, that's a standard field size, roughly. It's, an, it's probably a 532. Like if it burns that, you can weld anything together. 220. <laughs> It'll definitely need that with that rod. 
Okay, so now we've got half inch plate and we're going to uh, big boy rods. We're getting bored. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's passing all our tests. So we're gonna try and break it for you guys. We got strapped down to our bowling ball table. If, if you guys want to know how to make this, there's a video. We made a video on how to build this, just a bowling ball and a couple brake rotors and a pump jack. And it's kind of an all position table that you can spin around. Um, and for tigging too, we've got a video on how to tig. So check that out. In the meantime, what do you think? That rod, is it gonna do it? Yeah, it, she might shut off right now. Let's see. 137. <laughs> Which is the number that I, I think it started at. Yeah. Let's we'll see how hot she gets. 78 rod, I'm surprised it even struck an arc. Yeah, a little low for you. It's burning it, but it's a bit wild. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the the Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a no-go. Too big, but. We knew that. <laughs> <laughs> it does, still didn't get hot. Yeah, try it out and see how well that welds half inch plate. That sounds better. Yeah, it's fine, man. Right? Duty cycle's good too. Yeah. 240. It still sounds good. 60. <laughs> nice. 260 you went up to there. But that's most of your rod. Yeah. And that's half inch plate. Crazy. He's right. That's good mission. Good little thing. I can see it digging in. It's it's definitely getting in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's like a toy. It is, it is a toy. <laughs> it's crazy. But, like you can buy that for your kid as a toy, and like they can learn to be a welder <laughs> for like next to nothing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's facts. Yeah. 110 volts. Let them start digging and. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we'd be done with this after uh, the video today, but it's, uh, I guess we'll hold on to it. So this is basically perfect for anybody starting out, like you said, buy it for your kids, for them to practice on. Um, and your welds aren't gonna look like yours because you got the experience, but yeah. you, you can prove that it is possible. It's possible right? to get there with it. Yeah. yeah, and then throw it in your race trailer, throw it in your off-road rig, uh -huh. you know, um, anywhere where you've got access to at least 110. Yep, uh, Burns rods remarkably well, very smooth. Nice. Uh, TIG is just, uh, it's, you know, it's a basic general level starter up that way so, just because so, it doesn't have a throttle and a, like and that's control. frustrating because that'll turn you off of taking yeah once you find your setting you're okay right mm -hmm. if you're starting out and you're trying to work a throttle and keep your hand steady and focus that's on your arc funny. that's too much for you right off the bat anyway yeah. so it's, it's not a it's not a terrible thing no if it was a 500 hundred dollar welder what would you give it out of 10. if that was a 500 mm -hmm. I'd, I'd give it a Probably just because of some of the features that maybe ain't there, I'd probably give it a still a straight seven. Okay. Yeah. But as a hundred dollar Wally? I'd give it a ten. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> it's not on fire and the, the leads didn't get all hot and like melt away no like, you know no with temp gun on it nothing yeah. nothing crazy don't expect mm -hmm. to yeah i was surprised like you know like, the ground didn't start smoking in a sense right if you had it maxed out that usually gets quite hot right and that usually was one of the first things to go so would you buy that or that uh i like those <laughs> <laughs> just because they're cool and old uh, no, I would buy that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And if, I mean, if that if that got you through a job to make, you know, some bank and well, get going, well, like... It's not even that. It's, you're broken down and yeah. on a trail somewhere and you're like, you'd pay 500 bucks for that just to get home, home right? Yeah. yeah. If it works on a generator or, yeah. you know, yeah, I'm pretty impressed how smooth that's running. <laughs> like, nice. All right, guys, definitely put your comments down below if you bought one or um, you've had experiences with this. There's plenty of other tool reviews on the channel. And like we said, there's a how to TIG video. There's a how to make this table. Um, so definitely check all those out. And I want to hear what you guys want us to review next. We hope this was a thorough, in-depth review. 
um, that uh, gives you an educated uh, decision as to whether this is for you or not. So comment down below other tools or makes or models or whatever that we should try out. As always, thanks for watching. Check out all the other builds that we've got on the channel. We've got lots of cool stuff happening on two different channels. We've got a heavy duty channel where we fix off-road stuff and then our main channel where we just build cool one-off vehicles and uh, have some fun doing it. So remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich, get out there and work on it and make some fire. How much was your welder again? $13,000. <laughs> was it a waste? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs>